Hi guys, I'm Audrey. Um, and as Joe said, I'm a product design manager at Thumbtack, which is a marketplace for hiring local professionals. Oh. Uh, so a lot of you may have already heard of the term empathy gap, which is a gap in understanding that exists between two people, two parties, two groups, and in product design, it represents the gap between you and your user. And it represents a lack of understanding of what your users really need, the context within which they exist, and their points of view. And when it's bad, it looks like this. This is my actual remote at home that I've had for the last five years. And from firsthand experience, I can tell you that there is a huge empathy gap between whoever designed this and me. Because what they don't realize is that I actually don't use 99% of these buttons on here. And to this day, I do not know what the red, green, yellow, and blue button in the middle actually do. Closing the empathy gap in product design means taking the time to really understand what it is that your users need, not just what they want, but what they need, based on their behaviors, their routines, their likes, their dislikes, their ambitions. So if you think about this Honeywell thermostat and the empathy that gap that existed with this device, and just think about how Nest closed that gap to really deliver a solution that we all love, that we all want to actually, one, be able to afford, and two, put up in our home. With many products, there's just one empathy gap that you have to worry about closing, and that's the one between you and one single end user. So if you think of Duolingo, they have their student, Tesla has a driver, Spotify has a listener. But in marketplace design, there are actually three empathy gaps you need to worry about. There are the two between you and your two users, and then there's the gap between the users themselves. So Lyft connects passengers and drivers. Airbnb connects guests and hosts. At Thumbtack, we connect customers and pros. But regardless of who you're connecting in marketplace design, the success of your marketplace really relies on your ability to connect those two people. But it all starts here, with your ability to close the empathy gap between you and those two people. So today I'm going to talk to you about what we've learned at Thumbtack to close and minimize those three gaps. So first, some context. This is Dan. He's a Thumbtack professional. We call them pros. He's 52. He's a professional gardener, and he's been doing it for the last two and a half years. A garage attached to his home where he stores his supplies, and a second bedroom in his house serves as his office. But on a lot of days, Dan's office actually looks like this. He's one of 200,000 plus active and paying pros on Thumbtack today. Let's meet Anu. Anu is a Thumbtack customer. She's 39, married, and the mother to a beautiful six-year-old son. She's a part-time consultant and a full-time mom. She and her husband bought their house about two and a half years ago, and since then, the projects have just been piling up. But between being a mom and being and working, she has no time. She has no shortage of things to do, but she needs help to get them done. Thumbtack helps connect these two people together. We empower customers like Anu to complete their projects, and we help pros like Dan make a living doing what they love to do. And today, most of those connections are happening through a mobile device, with 50% of customers and 70% of pros accessing Thumbtack through their phones, which means that of the over 5 million projects completed on Thumbtack last year alone, over 2.5 million of them happened here. And that's what makes closing the empathy gap so important for mobile design, because you're designing a product for the nooks and crannies of somebody's life. You're on the bus going to work with them. You're out walking their six dogs with them. You are home cooking with them. You're on the job site with them. You're even curling up in bed with them. But consider the challenges that we face at Thumbtack today. So of the 10 designers on our team, five of us are married, two of us have kids, None of us are self-employed or own a small business. 
And add to that the fact that we work at a startup, like many of you do too. And so we have no time. We're constantly focused on, on shipping the right features to our customers and our pros. So we actually don't have the time to spend months on user research. We've had to figure out workarounds. So the gap between us and our customers and our pros actually exists because of two things. Lack of contextual knowledge, yes, but also a shortage on time. So how do we close that gap? So here are four ways that we've learned to do it at Thumbtack. The first is we get everybody on the same page. We created a consistent customer and pro journey. And we aligned every team at Thumbtack around it. So from product to marketing to recruiting to design, everybody has started to use it as a foundational part of their work. It's become an integral part of our planning process. Designers use it to set up the context for their work. It's a part of our onboarding process. So that means that from the very first weeks that you've joined Thumbtack, you immediately get a sense of empathy for what it is that our customers and our pros go through when they try to complete a project. The second thing we do, and this may seem really obvious, but it's worth mentioning, is we make it really easy for people to play both parts. Every month, every team member at Thumbtack has a stipend that they can spend to hire a pro through our platform so they can experience what it's like to be a customer on Thumbtack, what it means to place a request, to find a pro that they like, to then hire that pro and get their project done. We also sign up as pros. And Micah, who's a designer on the design team, and he's in the audience, um, <laughs> is signed up as a graphic design pro. And he's actually even completed a few jobs. And that firsthand knowledge of being a pro and putting yourself out there placing a bid on projects that you may not even get, and then finally getting hired, communicating with your customer, and then completing a project and hoping you get paid, that's firsthand knowledge that you actually can't get through a journey map alone. The third thing we do is we made sure we clearly define the role of our product for our customers and our pros. Because remember, we're designing for the nooks and crannies of somebody's life. So we have to figure out early on how it is that we want to show up for them in, the, in their lives. So for our customer, we're a motivator. It's about inspiring them to envision all of the projects that they could get done on Thumbtack. And for our pro, we're an assistant. It's about getting stuff done. And you can see how those roles actually translate into the product experiences themselves. So for the customer, it's so much more immersive, right? There's a lot more use of photography, both in in-progress states and in done states. Then on the pro side, because we're an assistant and we're all about getting stuff done, it's, it's most important that we actually surface the right information at the right time for them. So we've actually deliberately stripped away anything that might get in the way of them getting that next job. And the fourth, and maybe the most important thing that we do, is we create constant reminders for every member in our team of the actual people that they're designing for. So once in a while, we'll go out and do field interviews. We'll invite pros into our space to lead classes with our team. We have artifacts of our customers and our pros in our physical space that tell their actual stories. And we kick off every company meeting each week with a customer and a pro story. And in isolation, these things may seem trivial. But in aggregate, they help to surround everyone at Thumbtack with a portrait of the people that we're, we're here to serve. And with that knowledge, we can use that understanding to bring the customer and the pro closer together. And at Thumbtack, closing the empathy gap between our customer and our pro is all about creating alignment, building trust, and removing roadblocks. Creating alignment for us means creating a shared sense of expectations. Our customer and our pro come into our product speaking completely different languages. And our job, first and foremost, is to get them to speak the same language as quickly as possible. One way that we do that in the product 
is we have the customer fill out a really detailed uh, project request form. We then send all of those details to our pros. So our pros, right off the bat, they have all of the information that they need to not only make a more relevant quote, but more importantly, to spark a more meaningful connection and conversation with the customer. Once that conversation has been, has been sparked, it's up to us to then build the consumer's confidence or the customer's confidence in the pro to build their trust. They want to know that the pro not only can do their job, but will do it well. So in the product, we do that by highlighting photos of the pro, photos of their past work, through verified reviews, by surfacing credentials like licenses and background checks. We even have a Q&A section at the end of their profile that covers any questions that maybe weren't answered in the quote or that the customer didn't even think to ask. And all of this in total, what we hope is that it helps build enough trust that the customer will want to take the next step with that pro. And if they do, our job is a tough one. It's to remove any roadblocks that might get in the way of them deepening their relationship. And these are things that we're working on right now, from improving our customer messenger to building in features like scheduling and payments, all with the goal of creating the most frictionless, frictionless product experience possible so that our customer and our pro can focus on what matters most, and that's getting their project done. So remember, whether you're connecting customers to pros, drivers to passengers, or guests to hosts, the success of your marketplace relies on your ability to connect those two people by creating alignment, building trust, and removing roadblocks. But it all starts here, with you closing the empathy gap between you and those two people. And what we learned at Thumbtack was not only that it was important that we actually do those four things, but that it was really important for us to build those things into our teams daily, weekly, monthly, and annual practices. Because closing the empathy gap isn't a one-time thing. It has to be ongoing. It's not just part of a project. And as designers, our job is to continue to strive to close that empathy gap with whether your customers, your pros, or any two of your end users, so that we can then use that knowledge to create the right solutions that will ultimately bring them together. Thank you.